Greetings, brothers and sisters. Once again, we bear witness that there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. Christ alone is God, and God is the true sender of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. We thank him for his guidance and his understanding and his mercy. We, by God's grace, he have opened up our understanding Wonderful. that we might understand the scriptures. Uh, to our viewers on social media, we understand that the YouTube blacked out on several occasions, so uh, our media staff, they'll be uploading by this evening, God willing, the message in its entirety from this morning. <clears throat> And uh, so nothing be lost. I believe one scripture says, gather up the fragments that nothing be lost. I greet all of my beloved brothers and sisters, uh, our Truth of God family around the world. I thank God for all of you, to you that love it and to you that hate it. There's nothing similar to this message Nowhere it's hard to find raw truth. Raw truth, no additives, no preservatives. It's like you have to be selective today, even in a food market where you purchase food, because there's so much additives, preservatives that's unhealthy to the body. Even sometime when you go out to a restaurant and eat chicken, cut it. It have a very rubbery texture. The tenderizing of meat doesn't start with how you cook it or how you prepare it. The tenderizing of meat start with the diet of that animal. The preparation of your soul doesn't start when the Lord come. Preparation of your soul starts right now. While the word of God is being taught and the scriptures are being itemized and broken down for your learning, for your edification, for the proper advancement of your natural and divine being, a wise man and a wise woman will take advantage of this God-given opportunity to learn and grow. Not learn and fight what you learn. Learn and grow. And it's a beautiful feeling when you can see growth in yourself. It's a beautiful feeling when you can see growth and development in different aspects of your spiritual walk. I want to go back to the message that we had this morning, but I want to go to the Old Testament first this time. Right. So I can show you that what we're telling you is true. It's truth. We'll start off with the prophet, mm -hmm. and then we'll go back to reestablish our case. <laughs> Amen. To reaffirm our case. We have a good, solid case. And uh, we have a lot of good speakers in the Bible, <laughs> prophets and apostles, that is able to stand behind the case that they are bringing to the people. So it, uh, it's not like I'm alone. I have a lot of brothers, a book full of brothers, a book full. Most of all, we have the one that sent those brothers and taught those brothers. That's why I'm in full agreement with the prophets and the apostles. I agree with them That's right. on what? Everything. That's right. All right, let's go to work in the book of the Bible. And I want everybody to follow me. We want to come back again and refresh you. Mm -hmm. Make sure you didn't miss nothing. Hmm. All right. Daniel chapter 10 and at verse 21. This time we want to start off with Daniel 10, 21 because the 
prophets and the apostles, none of them dispute each other. That's right. Same spirit that was in the prophets, if you will hear this, was in the apostles. That's right. So the Bible says all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God, all of them. Mm. That means the prophets and the apostles was moved by the spirit of God, dealt with by the Spirit of God, taught by the Spirit of God, guided by the Spirit of God, spoken to by the Spirit of God, and sent yeah. by the Spirit of the living God. That's right. Now hear this, viewers. Daniel chapter Here, 10. Just a minute. When God sent a man today, then he must make reference to the book of yesterday to verify and justify his today's message. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. When God sent a man today, he must make reference. That's right. And certify and justify his message of today by the book of yesterday. In the book of Acts, chapter 26 and verse 22. Says what? Having therefore obtained help of God. Having therefore obtained help from God. I continue unto this day. I continue right now. Witnessing both the small and great. Uh -huh. Saying none other thing. Apostle Paul said that I am not saying nothing else. Then those which the prophets. Then what the prophets. And Moses. And Moses. Did say should come. I told you. That's right. So if you are a preacher today, I don't care who you are and how many visions you have, if any, your message today cannot contradict the spirit of God that dealt with the prophets and the apostles That's right. and the holy book of scriptures. That's right. Now let me show you how the scriptures stand behind itself. Now in the book of Daniel, Daniel, chapter 10, and verse 21. Follow me, viewers. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. Do you hear that? Amen. What did the scriptures call? The scripture of truth. And what did the prophet say by God's permission? Saying, but I will show thee that which is noted. I will show thee that. Which is noted. Which is noted what's documented what's written that's right and what is it called in the scripture of truth now viewers jesus agreed with daniel yes he did until jesus says search the scriptures that's right daniel by god's permission told us what kind of scriptures they are the scripture of truth the scriptures of truth of truth and the reason why they are the scriptures of truth because they are divinely inspired by a true living God. That's why I never at no time, get me, have a sermon written out. That's right. There is no pre-planned sermon that you hear over the air. No. Me and Williams don't team up through the week. <laughs> I got a life and I know he got one. Yes. I'm busy. That's right. And he's busy. That's right. We don't sit Try to figure out who gonna go first, who gonna go now, no, we ain't got no time for that. <laughs> no. I no. wait until I hear from God. That's right. And when I hear from God, I know what I hear is always good That's and right. it's always true. Settle it therefore in your heart. This how well I want you to understand what I'm telling you. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 21 and verse 14. How well do God want them to have it, William? Settle it, therefore. <laughs> Settle it, therefore. In your hearts. Get it in your heart. Not to meditate before what God you shall answer. God told his preachers, don't premeditate before what the answer. For I will give you a mouth. What? I will give you a mouth. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Not only can I read this, but I can familiarize myself with this because... This, this, this applies to me. <laughs> That's right. I want to say, are you bolstering? You can say whatever you like. That's right. It applies to me. That's right. God said, settle in your heart. Settle I will mm -hmm. 
give you a mouth. You, my mouth is from God. <laughs> my mouth is not from a seminary school or from theology or from a college. No, my mouth comes from God. My mouth comes from heaven. That's right. I have a heaven sent mouth. And when you have a school mouth, you have a mouth of lies. That's right. Theology, philosophy, mm -hmm. theory. God give his preacher a mouth that's full of mystery, Amen. revelation, a divine talent and skill to rightly divide scripture, yeah. go into biblical facts and make it harmonize and pull it out, that's right. pull all that good stuff out, the word of God that people read but can't see. That's right. You know, you can read the Bible, then can't see what you read yourself. That's truth. So God give a preacher eyes and say, blessed are your eyes for they see. Open up his understanding that he may comprehend the things of God to elevate God's people closer to God. That's right. The word of God says, settle it. Settle it, therefore, in your heart. I want you to get this right in your heart. Not to meditate don't before. premeditate before. What ye shall answer. I don't, my Bible don't have color blue, green, yellow, red. I don't do that. <laughs> no, you don't. My neither, Bible is clean. Neither do I. Eh? Amen. I don't do that. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. I don't, I don't, not only I don't do it, I don't have to do it. That's right. I don't need to do it. That's right. That's why sometimes when I stand up here and uh, I tell William, give me anything, anywhere. Amen. Just put me there. Amen. I don't care where you put me. I'm home, brother. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. I don't care where you put me. I'm home. Amen. I had somebody ask me, did Williams ever read something that you didn't know was in the Bible? Yes. Oh, yes. In fact, the Lord had led Williams to read something that he never knew was in the Bible. He didn't even know it. He didn't right. even know the chapter exists. He never knew That's the right. verse exists. That's right. And God took him to it. Amen. And when God took him to it, God gave me the understanding of it. That's right. You see, viewers, I'm not bragging, but I can say gladly, mm. this is a Holy Ghost inspired program. Oh, yes. Holy Ghost inspired. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Holy Ghost, I mean that real, real, real Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Not that trash that you see men get up and, and act like God is talking to them and then they make up some Betty Crocker tongue off the back of a pancake box. <laughs> That's right. Not that. That's right. I'm talking about, get what I'm telling you, the same spirit yeah. that inspired this entire book to be written. That same spirit must get in men yes. to interpret the book that's written. That's right. This is how you know a man is in sync with God that's right. in his teaching. If God divinely inspired men to write the book, then God, that same God, not another, just can't be another, must get in men and inspire them to teach from the book. That's right that he may have the same understanding. And his interpretation by God's permission is the same interpretation, that he may reach the same conclusion that the prophets and the apostles have reached. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did Daniel tell us? But I will show thee that which is noted. I will show you that which is noted, documented. In the scripture of truth. In the scriptures of truth. truth. All right, let's go back. Amen. And pull out the foul of the scripture from this morning. I want to, mm -hmm. by God's permission, state our case. <laughs> Amen. We got a strong case against the world. That's right. And uh, I want to represent my heavenly lawgiver. Amen. That I may state my case before many witnesses. We all can pass about with a greater cloud of witness. And I want the world to get this yeah. and judge yourself the same because you can hate me all you want. I want to get this, settle this in your heart. In your it heart. doesn't matter if you hate me. You can hate me until every time the telecast come on, every time, yeah. the moment it come on, you vomit, you spit, <laughs> mucus come out your nose, your eyes roll back and you have convulsions. Amen. Every time, when you settle down, nothing changed. That's right. Nothing changed. Right. Amen. I cannot be bought. No. Somebody say, everybody have their pride. Not me, buddy. Amen. 
Why you can't be bought, Pastor Jennings? Because I've been purchased already. That's right. What if God say you're bought with the price? And uh, Jesus died and shed blood. And I was one of the ones for sale. Amen. And he bought me. Bought, bought you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And uh, them that the Lord had purchased can say amen. That's right. Because when God bought you, then uh, you're not for sale no more. You're mm. not supposed to be no how. That's right. Because there are two purchases, God and the devil. So when Jesus died in the flesh, shed blood, he purchased the people. That's right. So viewers, I'm, I'm not for sale. You can offer me millions of dollars as some have done. Yeah. So I say, I don't believe that again. It doesn't matter to me because I was the one offered it and not you. <laughs> so therefore, I know what I'm talking. That's right. I was offered millions of dollars. I was offered mansions. I was offered uh, exotic cars, as some call them, <laughs> Bentleys and Rolls Royce. Now, if you work and buy a Bentley and work and buy a Rolls Royce, fine. Drive it and drive it uh, for the pleasure of God. Mm. But uh, I was offered churches and organizations and movements with one thing attached, if I would denounce what God gave his apostles. Lord. I laugh at them that think I'm so weak, That's right. so frail, so feeble, <laughs> as you are offering me something so light as a car. Amen. I mean, I work, I got a car, I can drive it from point A to point B. <laughs> Amen. I work, I got a house, I thank God I got a roof. Hey man, over my head, I can lay down whenever I can. But uh, nothing you can offer that match the revelation that God gave me. That's right. Nothing you can offer that match the God-given ability that God gave us to understand his word. That, to me, outrivals all offers of anything. For I will promote thee unto very good. You know, honor. some folks say, well, you ain't been offered the right thing. Hmm. Well, name it. Name it. Money, I've been offered that. I've been offered millions. Somebody say, well, uh, you should have took it. Why? And sell my soul? So, mm. I'm not a hoe. Go I ahead. won't go. That's right. Eh? Wonderful. I'm not a hoe. You can't buy me. That's right. Some years ago, I think it was 2005, when I debated the Nation of Islam at Ben Franklin. And there was a brother from the Nation of Islam who came up, uh, offered me $100,000. He gave uh, Mr. Muhammad $1,000 and gave me $1,000. And then he started talking a bunch of folly and a bunch of smack, as they said. Yeah. And I gave him back his check and said, listen, you can't buy me. I'm not a hoe. The place erupted. Amen. I cannot, viewers, be bought by nobody. That's right. You cannot offer me nothing that I have not been offered already. That's right. I've been offered countless of dollars, church organizations, everything. I've been offered it already. Mm -hmm. But uh, I thought of my brother mm -hmm. by the name of Balaam. Balaam, that's right. Who was offered the same thing that's by... Right. Balak. In the book of Numbers. Give me the book of Numbers, chapter, if you will. Numbers chapter 22. Where You're verse, watching and listening to a preacher that Kevin sent that cannot be bought. That's right. Lord, thank God I can allow it as much as I please, and I don't care who hear it. That's right. I say you're listening and watching a preacher who cannot be bought, nor will he sell out. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God just been too good. To me, my mm. heavenly father, God is greater than I. That's my right. father is greater than I. That's right. Thank God, and I must do the will of him, <laughs> not them Amen. that sent me. And I want you to know that I am in the Father. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank God, and the Father is in me. That's right. All right, let's have it. In the book of Numbers, chapter 22, and I verse 16. I guarantee somebody going to type there, look at him. He's, you see, the, he's so <laughs> arrogant. He's so beside himself. I don't see no humility. All I'm doing is telling you what God done for me. <laughs> that's, right. that's all I'm doing. That's all you're doing. Amen. Yeah, right. I mean, that's all I'm doing. I mean, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, Sir Williams, let's have it. Numbers chapter 22 and at verse 16. Yes. And they came to Balaam and said to him. They came to Balaam and said to him. Thus saith Balak the son of Zippor. Uh -huh. Let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me. Yes. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. Now, when you're spiritual minded mm -hmm. and somebody want to give you anything. Right. If you will bow to their terms right. of bargaining against your soul, That's right. great, honor, great honor, great position. That's what have made most of these preachers sell out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some type of organization done lent them an X amount of money. Yeah. And they took the money to buy churches. That's right. But now they have to bow to the stipulations of that organization. Right. It's like having... Uh, governmental programs in the churches. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But as long as those programs don't make you contradict the laws of God. I have a uh, separate nonprofit organization from the church, mm -hmm. the EAC, uh, which was a vision of mine years ago. Amen. And, uh, and I was, uh, and I remember I told my wife about it and we're tossing around names and she, she was the one. She said, what about, I said, Emmanuel, this, Emmanuel, that. And she said, what about the Emmanuel Advancement Center? I said, that's it right there. I said, that's it. And, and, and I coined that and locked that in. But uh, which gave us the ability to have programs by the number. But all of my staff know you better not even recommend or suggest one thing that violate the word of God right. to even raise for fundraising. That's right. Amen. I, you better not even recommend. It's not even a, a table discussion. Can we do this? Can we do that? No one should make that suggestion when everybody's being taught the same thing. That's right. So we won't Oh, you know, we, we desire to have a senior citizen shelter, and God willing, I look forward to having it. Yeah. But at no time will there be a Christmas tree there. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no way. No, 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 no. If the government tells us, well, we'll give you X a million of dollars, but you got to allow Christmas. Keep your, you better keep that money. Keep it. Here, government, you can keep your money. That's right. You got to let them have Christmas trees. You got to have bingo. In other words, no government in the world will dictate the, to the truth of God ever what we can or cannot have if that thing violate God's word. That's ever. Right. That's right. Hey, Amen. There won't be no raffle tickets. Won't be no bingo. No. Mm -mm. Won't be no lottery. Nope. Won't be no uh, uh, little balls with numbers on it so somebody can win. No, 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 no. <laughs> Anyone that live in the senior citizen's home better not have a Christmas tree in their apartment. That's right. Because we are taken out of your apartment and throw it out. That's right. Somebody say, what? Yes. Yeah. You don't like it, don't live here. <laughs> eh? That's right. Hey, Amen. That's right. Amen. If there's a husband and wife, senior citizens, and they want to move into uh, our senior citizens' uh, new apartment uh, building when it comes, I don't care if they offer to pay a million dollars a day. Amen. If you got a second wife or second husband, keep your money. You ain't staying here. That's right. You see, you got to love God above everything. Yeah. When you love God above everything, you don't find it difficult to bargain. That's right. Hey Amen. When somebody offers you something, and because your love of God, it makes you say, no. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah to sweet Jesus. That's right. No. Millions of dollars? No. Wonderful. I give you permission, a promotion? No. no. Mm -hmm. If that promotion is going to cause me to go against God, yeah and lose my soul, no. Do you see what I'm talking, viewers and listeners? We don't need Hollywood actors to be spokespersons for the church. That's right. We don't need politicians to be the spokespersons for the church. That's right. The spokesperson for the God's church is God. Is God, that's right. 
God talked to us yeah. out of the scriptures. Amen. What he spoke through the prophets and the apostles is certainly good enough for us. That's right. We don't need no cross dressers, <laughs> multi million dollar actors and actresses who claim they're Christians and yet all on social media and television lying and swearing and shaking a Christ like so called backside. That's right. Who sold their soul to the devil Amen. for millions. Amen. So we thank God we believe in what the word of God said. Yeah. So this is a real old fashioned, holy, sanctified church. Amen. Do you hear me, viewers? That's right. This is a real old fashioned, holy, sanctified church. You will never see our choir saying mm -hmm. and doing worldly steps. That's right. Never. Right. You'll never see our choir saying. <clears throat> no, 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 never, never. No, no. You'll never see no so-called Holy Ghost brother get the microphone and tell the congregation, come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, no, you're right, here you're going to hell. That's right. That's where you're going. <laughs> never, I said. Never. This is a real holy sanctified church. You will never see no praise dancers That's right. defouling the pulpit, corrupting the pulpit. That's right. So-called praise dancers turning it to a performance stage. Amen. Mm -mm, never. No. You won't see no drunken Jerry Curl head burnt fingernail quartet group in here. That's right. You see a bunch of brothers singing, they're going to be sanctified men. That's right. Sanctified. That's right. Amen. Singing sanctified holy songs. Amen. Don't be trying to sing something that Teddy Pendergrass sang. We don't care nothing about that trash. That's right. We don't, we don't take holiness and set it aside. Yes. When weddings take place. Oh, hey. mm -mm. Oh, hey. Holiness first. Oh, hey. That bride better not come in here with a half naked see through gown. Amen. No back out, mm -mm. no deep cut showing your cleavage, no splits, none of that. That's right. Why? Holy. Holy. Brother don't need no uh, flower on his lapel. Why? That's outward adorning. Go ahead. And the Bible says, let it not be. Not be. Right. Amen. You won't find us. Hands you up here. What purpose does it? What purpose is it? <laughs> huh? Right. I don't need that slop. <laughs> Don't need it, I said. That's right. Told him, say, why you got it? To wipe my sweat. I don't want to shine while I'm preaching. <laughs> I don't want to look like I'm glowing. That's right. I refuse to change anything in that Bible to accommodate anybody. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Hey, Amen. God was dealing with me and making me like this before I was Pastor Jen. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I began to tell my wife before we got married. Amen. How our wedding was going to be, and I showed it to the Bible. Mm -hmm. She said, "No rings, Gino." I said, "No rings." She said, "Gino, Gino." <laughs> she said, "Every girl want a ring." I said, "That's wonderful. No <laughs> rings." <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I remember when my sister got married. Amen. And uh, it hit her again. My wife came. Well, she wasn't my wife then, but she came to me again. She said, Gino, I can tell the way she said it. Gino, I, I said, no rings. She said, ah. Mm -mm. She said, I'm not there yet. I said, but I is. <laughs> I, I, I use broken English. I is. I said, think of it. Why would I spend all these thousands of dollars for something the size of a lifesaver? <laughs> Some of you, that ring is taking half of your mortgage. Some of you been married 13 years and he's still paying it off. And he is hard to do because of the interest. So I want to save you interest and all that. Don't buy no rings. Don't buy none. Just stick to what the Bible said. Pull off the strange gods. And uh, the ring that we have now is not on our finger, but thank God it's on our heart. That's right. So we refuse to bargain. Yeah. Amen. We won't 
invite sinner choirs of unbelievers. Mm -hmm. If there's a choir anniversary, there is no sinner choirs coming in here. That's right. And participate on the program. That's no, right. none. None. You want to say what? No. No. That's right. It is written. That's right. Amen. Happy is a man that condemneth not himself, himself in the thing in which he allowed. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I got to keep it like God says it. Yeah. Amen. Nothing at no time yes. is allowed to trickle in the program of God yeah. to defile God house. No idols, no images, right. no gambling, no raffle tickets, uh, no, no swearing, none of that. If there come any unto you. Do you hear, do you hear, do you hear, do you hear the sanctification of scripture? Now in the book of 2 John 1 and at verse 10. If there come any. If there come any unto you. Unto you. And bring not this I doctrine. I don't care if it's your father. Someone said, Pastor Jennings, you a hard man. No, I'm a nice guy. I'm very down to earth. Amen. But just when it comes to the word of God, I'm all about book. That's it. I'm all about book. I'm all about the Bible. Amen. And my wife, yeah, it was hard for her in the beginning, but uh, she got over it quick. It was very easy. It wasn't that difficult later on. Right. It was a very easy. Why? Because, hey, hey, amen. I told her, if you got me, you don't need no ring. <laughs> That's right. Hey, amen. You don't need no ring on your finger when I can feel your whole hands. That's right. That's <laughs> I can right. feel your hands and your arms. Am I right, I said? Amen. You see what I'm telling you? Amen. You don't need no ring. Don't, don't worry about a ring on your finger. Just take both your hands and just hold on to your old man. That's all right. That's it. I'll be your ring. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'll be your ring. I said. Amen. Come on, Will. If there come any unto you. If there come any unto you. And bring not and this bring doctrine. not this doctrine. Receive him not into your house. Keep him out of your house. Neither bid him God speak. And don't bid him God speak. For he that biddeth him God speak. He that bid him God speak is, is a partaker of his evil deeds. Amen. That's why I got to keep it like the book. I got to do, got it. To do it. I'm determined to do it. And uh, I don't find it difficult to do. That's, That's right. why when ministers rare up and try to bring some frivolous, foolish, ungodly teaching, I'm jumping on it. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to crush it. I'm going to annihilate it yes, and blast it away. God knows. That's right. And don't care if they leave afterward. That's right. Because you shouldn't have brought it in here anyway. That's right. All right, let's get down to the scriptures of truth and go back to the book of Thessalonica from this morning. Mm -hmm. Let's get much of that as we can, Williams. Back in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter All 2. All right, let's build a case here. And at verse 9. All right, then we'll get some more scriptures of truth. All right. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. Yes. With all power and signs and lying wonders. Yes. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. With all deceivableness of unrighteousness. In them that perish. In them that's going to hell. Because they receive not the love because of the truth. Because they receive not the love of, that's the only thing that got me preaching this hard. I love it. Love I it. love it. That's right. And the pain that this truth is afflicting upon me, yet <clears throat> I love it. Mm -hmm. I won't sell out because I love it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I won't bargain because I love it. He that hath my commandment. Do you hear this? Now in the book of St. John chapter 14 and verse 21. He that hath my commandment. And keepeth them. And hold on to them. He it is that loveth me. He it is. That loveth me. God said that love me. There's not a preacher. There's not a human under the sun. Amen. That I'm mm. going to bargain for. I'm, not, I'm just not going to do it. No, I don't won't. have preachers come in here. Amen. And sit down and talk with me to try to get me to see their side of the Bible. I don't want your version. I no. want what the Bible said. That's right. I mean, I want what the Word of God said. I'm going to stick to what the Word of God said. That's right. I don't understand why men would even come this direction who claim they're a preacher and, and thinking you can change thinking. me. Thinking you can change me? Really? Hmm. You might as well get a flea and let him pull a cargo train. Amen. From here to Texas. That's right. You might as well take a harness and hook it up to a flea that's and right. let them pull a train, engine and all. That's right. And that's not going to happen. No. Amen. I'm settled in this. Settled, Hallelujah. Settled. Blessed be God. I mean, I'm settled in it. Amen. Amen. I'm not enticed by money and none of this other junk out here. I am settled in this. In other words, I'm, I'm happy with God. Wonderful. I'm satisfied with him. Wonderful. Because I don't believe nobody can match 
his satisfaction. That's right. Huh? That's right. One scripture says, sanctify them through the truth, and then they tell you, thine word is truth. is truth. That's why I tell the world, don't you be so close to nothing and nobody yeah. that you're going to bargain and, and they can move you away from God for them. Mm -hmm. What man, woman, house, car, boat, mansion, or dollars is worth going to hell for? And what doeth profit a man to gain the whole world yeah. and lose his soul? After you get everything you want, you die without God. You really don't have nothing. That's right. You don't have nothing at all. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 21 and verse 25. Tell you what. But there was none like unto Ahab. There was none like Ahab. Which did sell himself. What did Ahab do? Which did sell himself. Sold himself. To work wickedness. He sold himself to wrought wickedness. In the sight of the Lord. And that's what these preachers have done. They are sellouts. That's right. Just to keep their congregation, they sold out. That's right. Just to keep that income, they sold out. That's right. Just to keep that lifestyle, they sold out. Yeah. Just to keep that bankroll, they sold themselves. That's right. They've been bought by the Democrats. They've been bought by the Republicans. They've been bought by the liberals. They've been bought by man-made religion. They've been bought right. by men. They've been bought by wealth. They sold out. That's right. Turned their back on God. And as a result of such, you see them building up everything that God destroyed that makes them a transgressor. That's right. Amen. You know, I think of Brother Solomon, yeah. who was ordained a king by God's permission. Mm -hmm. Solomon never prayed and asked God to give him wealth. Yeah. Solomon prayed and asked God to give him wisdom, how to lead God's people. That's right. But at the same time, God went on and gave him wealth. Right. Amen. God was with Solomon. Oh, yes. And I believe God appeared unto Solomon, the son of David. Yeah. But my God, it is written in the book of Nehemiah that Solomon loved outlandish women. Yes. What do you mean? Foolish women. Yeah. Solomon loved women that believe in idolatry. That's right. Women that believe opposite from what he believed. That's right. uh, Solomon tore down the idols, I believe, of Molech yeah. and other images and other figures. Yeah. Well, when those women got a hold of Solomon, Solomon started building up the same images that he tore down right. until Solomon's end was very scary. Yeah. Solomon's end was very dangerous. Yeah. Solomon's in the Bible says that his heart was no longer with the Lord. That's right. They took his heart. That's right. The women took the place of God in Solomon's life. That's right. Viewers, have anybody or anything took God's place? In your life? But King Solomon loved many strange women. You better give chapter and verse for this. Folks think I'm making this up. Listen at this. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 11 and verse 1. Says what? Rather than the book of 1 Kings, chapter 11 and verse 1. Chapter and verse again. 1 Kings, chapter 11 and verse 1. What did he say? But King Solomon loved many strange women. King Solomon loved many, many, many strange, 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 strange women. women. Foolish, crazy, outlandish, barbaric barrack type women together with the daughter of pharaoh wait a minute he loved them together with pharaoh's daughters women of the moabites Amalekites. now i point out what kind women of the moabites women of the moabites hold it now the moabites let me give you some knowledge mm -hmm. the moabites came into being through a incest relationship that's right the moabites father of the Moabites was Moab. That's right. Moab was the grandson of Lot. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Lot daughters didn't have no seed. And it came to pass. I want you to hear me. Now in the book of Genesis chapter 19. Well, I'm going to take you to school this evening. What time I have? Read fast, will you? Genesis 19 will start at verse 30. Yes. And Lot went up out of Zoar and dwelt in the mountain. Uh -huh. And his two daughters with him, for he yes. feared to dwell in Zoar. Uh -huh. And he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. Yeah. And the firstborn said unto the younger, our father is old. Now, they didn't have no seed, <clears throat> so the daughters of Lot had a discussion. That's right. They wanted some children. They wanted some babies, and they wasn't married. They didn't have none, so... You know, they, they had a discussion among themselves. So the older 
daughter said to the younger daughter. Our father is old. Our, our father, our pop, our dad, he's old. And there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us. And it ain't no man in the earth to come unto us. After the manner of all the earth. Yeah. Come, let us make our father drink wine. Listen, I got an idea. <laughs> Let's get our father wasted. And we will Let's get him thing. drunk. That's right. Amen. In modern terms, let's get them blasted. Blasted. Amen. Let's get them drunk. Come, let us make our father drink wine. Make him drink wine. And we will lie with him. And while he's drunk, Amen. we'll lay with our father. That we may preserve seed of our father. Just so we can have some children. And they made their father drink wine that they night. They made it. Well, they did what? And they made, they made their father They made their father drink, drink wine, wine that night. That night. And the firstborn went in and lay with her father. The firstborn, the older sister, mm -hmm. she went and lay with her father. And he perceived not when she lay down nor when she arose. And he was so drunk, he, 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 he didn't know when she came or when she got up. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger. Yes. Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. Look at her, having a rap session with her sister. Hey, look, I, I lay with our pop. Let us make him drink wine this night also. Let's, let's, let's go in the second. It's your turn now. And go thou in and, and lie with him that we may and preserve you, seed uh, of our father. Listen, I got him drunk the first night. Now it's your time. It's your turn, younger sis. And they made their father drink they wine made that their night father also. Drink wine. And the younger arose and lay with him. Yes. And he perceived not when she lay down nor when she arose. He was so drunk he perceived not when she lay down or when... Uh, she got up. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. That made Lot father and grandfather. That's right. That's, right. That's right. That made Lot father and grandfather at the same time. That's right. All right. And the firstborn bare a son. The firstborn bare the son. And called his name Moab. Called his name Moab. The same is the, the father same of the Moabites. Is the father of who? Of the Moabites. I told you. Unto this day. He's the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the younger. And the younger. She also bare a son. What was his name? And called his name Benamai. Who? Ben, ben, Benamai. Benamai. The same is the father of the children of Ammon. Unto this day. And he's the father of the children of Ammon, Ammon, where you get the Ammonites. All right, go back to where you were. I just want to establish who Moab was. Back in, All right. back in Second Kings, uh, back in First Kings. Come on, son. Chapter 11 and verse 1. You really do well knowing Second Kings. That, that double guard ain't creeping up in you, is it? No, no, sir. Can you keep second now? Come on now. First Kings. First. First Kings. First. Chapter 11 yeah, and verse 1. Yeah, call chapter and verse again. First, first. Kings. First Kings. Rebuke the devil. <laughs> Rebuke him. I rebuke you. Thank God. <laughs> All right, Sir Williams, come on. First Kings chapter 11 and verse 1. Yeah. But King Solomon loved many strange women. King Solomon loved many strange... Now these men love strange men. Mm. Eh? Amen. 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 They, they, right. they don't... They don't... These men, they don't want women no more. No, oh, no. my God. Amen. Listen, I, I, I do agree 100%. It is wrong. For you to lay with a woman outside of your wife. I agree 100%. Yeah. But uh, if you're going to do wrong, don't you think you should be able to do wrong right? Right. <laughs> when you can't even do wrong the right way. Yeah. When you do wrong the right way, you lay with a woman. That's right. But you owe hell <laughs> deserving things. Yeah. Who want men. My Lord. And you're a man. Why? Why? I, I don't understand what pleasure you can get mm. looking at a man gray knees. Mm. Amen. Unlotion knees and chap parched tree bark looking lips on most of them. That's right. Amen. I don't understand how a man can walk by and make another man go, mm, mm, mm. My Lord. Uh, that's <laughs> the devil out of hell. That's right. Thank God. You see what I'm talking. That's right. I can't get it. Amen. I can't understand it. No. Amen. I, no. I can understand if a man look at a, a woman and he just say, mm, 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 like, oh, my goodness, even though he shouldn't do that. Right. But I understand it. I understand it. Yeah, I understand if you look at a woman and he say, my goodness, Lord, help me. Help me today, tomorrow, and the next day. I, 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 he shouldn't do it, right. but I understand it. That's right. You see, I understand if a man look at a woman and he like, mm. oh. <laughs> he just turned around. That's right. I, he, <laughs> he shouldn't do it, 
but I understand it. But not at no time <laughs> do I understand no action whatsoever. That's right. If you look at your own kind, your own kind. am I right? That's right. None whatsoever. Amen. Amen. Would you even cause me to comprehend your actions? Yeah. To look at a non-hip thing. Non-hip. Non-hip thing. Amen. Walk just like you do. Yeah. Or a reasonable vaccine thereof. That's right. I don't understand no such action whatsoever. Mm -hmm. All right. But King Solomon loved many strange women. So King Solomon, he loved strange women. Together with the daughter Together of Pharaoh. Together with the daughters of Pharaoh. Wi women of the Moabites. Yes. Ammonites. Ammonites. Edomites. He noticed the women that descended yeah. from Moab, mm -hmm. the women that descended yeah. from Ammon, Ammon, the women that descended Edomites from Lot. Mm -hmm. And then you got Edomites. Z Zidonians. Who? Zidonians. Zidonians. And Hittites. Hittites. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel. These nations whom the Lord said to the children of Israel. Ye shall not go into them. Stay away from them. Neither shall they come in unto you. Why? For surely they will turn away your heart. God warned you. Amen. Surely. They will turn away your heart. Take God. They will turn away your heart. After their gods. After their gods. Now you bear in mind, mm -hmm. Solomon didn't give heed to that warning. No. And as a result. For it came to pass. It came to pass. When Solomon was old. When Solomon was old. That his wives turned away his heart after other gods. What? It came to pass when Solomon was old. You know it's good when you've been walking with God 30, yes. 40, 50, 60. 70 years, Amen. and God still have your heart. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. It doesn't matter what you're struggling with. Don't you let that thing take your heart. Amen. Don't you let that thing kidnap your heart and possess it and take it out of the hands of God. That's right. Keep your heart. When That's you right. keep your heart with God, you keep your soul with God. Amen. Huh? Amen. What do you mean? When they took Solomon's heart, they replaced yeah. Solomon's love. That's right. Do you see what I'm talking? That's right. They replace Solomon love. Solomon love was replaced from loving God to loving the, all the women that God warned them out, warned them about, and God said, "What these women to do to you? For surely they will turn away your heart." Surely. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes you get some stubborn, hell-bound children. Mother and father tell them, look, stay away from that girl or stay away from that boy. Yeah. And they're so lustful and ignorant, they think the parents don't know what they're talking about many times. But if your parents are spiritual and serving God and teaching you the things of God, now I do admit, some parents just say that because out of personal reason. But I ain't talking about that. No. And some parents say that because, well, they just don't like the person. I ain't talking about that. No. I'm talking about someone that got divine insight and foresight and can see what you never can or never will. That's right. That's right. What you see is lip, lips and hips and legs. Mm -hmm. What you see is a, a good suit and a, a hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but someone that divinely inspired whom God did with may see that heart that's full of wickedness that's right. and may see that he gonna leave you in two years. That's right. He's gonna beat you after six months of marriage. That's right. She's gonna be pregnant by your brother mm. and not by you. Amen. Eh? Amen. You better hear the old man. God gave Solomon clear warning. For surely clear they warning. That's right. Clear warning. That's right. Hey Amen. You know when someone uh, feel infatuated or attracted to somebody, and they talk to their mother or father, and their mother and father may say, "Well, you know that's you know, that's not a good investment." Well, I love you. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, all right. <laughs> hey Amen. My children know, and man, my children they they have talked to me about. You know, ones that they were interested in, and I tell them straight up, yay or nay. I don't bargain and compromise. Yeah. Yay or nay. <laughs> yay or nay. Nay or yay. Yay, nay. Yay, nay, nay, nay. Yay. <laughs> Amen. Ain't no need to get married, and then you're going to be by yourself in two years' time. That's right. And, on, and you young? That's right. Hey, man, I had a young gentleman call me from California. 
Just last Sunday, I was in a council session, only 20 years old. Amen. He didn't have no one to counsel him, no one to advise him. In a false church, but watch the program. I think he got married when he was 19, and she was only 17. And my Lord, he wasn't ready to get married. You see, a lot of folk ain't ready for that commitment yet. They're not ready mentally. They're not ready emotionally. Yet, they know it's something they want to do. Even if you want to get married, you got to ask yourself, are you wife material? That's right. Are you mother material? That's right. Are you husband material? Are you father material? You know, I, I, I designed clothes. I designed clothes for years, <clears throat> as well as designed buildings. Mm -hmm. And I got sense enough to know all fabrics are not made for shirts. Yeah. Huh? All fabrics, I can't make a, a shirt out of very fabric without it like walking around with a burlap shirt scratching with whips all over my body. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's oh, right. Burlap, solid wool shirt. Oh. I, 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 I. No. Not that. No. Amen. That's not wise. Amen. Amen. And just like every all material you can't make shirts out of, all material is not designed for suits. Everybody, there's many folk desire to get married, desire to get married, but everybody is not husband and wife material. Some people come out of a good structured home, but that don't mean that what come out that house in all cases is wife material, mother material, husband material, father material. That don't mean that right. the only thing that makes you worthwhile is if you not only take the teaching, but you got to be like a sponge. That's right. A sponge. Yeah. Soak it in. Yeah. Amen. It'll be a sad thing to get married young, and then by the time you're 25, you realize she ain't what I want, yeah. he ain't what I want, and next thing you know, you meet what you want, but you married already. That's right. How miserable will how mm -hmm. miserable how miserable will you be when you meet Miss Thing? Yeah. Uh huh. You meet Miss Thing and Mr. the Thing. It says after you said I do now. After. After you said I do, thank God, man, and you walking around happy and smiling with your knight in plastic armor. Amen. Amen. But then your knight and real custom made, uh, or a knight Amen. in real custom made armor, amen, just come by galloping and just seeing him move your heart. You don't even know his name. Mm. You haven't even had a conversation with him yet. Mm. Oh, just seeing her move your heart, mm. made your heart. Your heart was just regular. Then when you seen her, <laughs> huh? That's right. That's <laughs> you right. see what I'm talking? Amen. You can <laughs> That's right. Oh, 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 yes, this is true. This oh, is this true. is true, brother. Oh, no, maybe it doesn't matter because you married. It just doesn't matter. No. If you don't have the who and the what, all it takes is for you to behold the right thing. Right. Before you saw them, take note of that, viewers. That's your regular beat. Then when you see him or her, <laughs> huh? That's the whole right. rhythm change. That's right. My God, you got a rhythm like you in Cuba, you know. <laughs> huh? Amen. Oh, and take God. Amen. All right, Williams, come on. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children <laughs> the of Israel. The nations which the Lord said concerning the children of Israel. He shall not go into to them. Don't you go to them. Neither shall they come in unto you. Don't you let them come to you. For surely they will turn they away will your heart turn after their gods. Your heart to other gods. Solomon clave unto these in love. Solomon did what? Clave. He clave. Unto these Solomon in love. clave to those, all the whip, the type of women mm. that God warned Solomon not to go to, he clave to them. He helped to them. And he had 700 wives. 700 wives? Princesses. Princesses. And 300 concubines. 300 concubines. And his wives turned away his heart. And what? And his wives turned away his, his heart. His wives turned away his heart. For it came to pass when Solomon was old. When Solomon was old. That his wives turned away his heart after other gods. Yes, 
And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God. His heart, was, his heart wasn't perfect. That's right. In other words, perfect means complete. That's right. So his heart became incomplete. That's right. With God. As. And was more complete. Right. With all these foolish, wild, idolatrous women. That's right. Uh -huh. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God. Yes. As was the heart of David his as father. As were the heart of David his father. For Solomon went after Ashtoreth. Went after Ashtoreth. The goddess of the Zidonoi. Look at the idols he went after. Yeah. He went after Ashtoreth, the goddess. The goddess of the Zidonoi. Of the Zidonoi. And, and after Milcom. And uh -huh. the after Milcom. The abomination of the Ammonites. The abomination of the Ammonites. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. And what? And went not fully after the Lord. What? And went not fully after the Lord. Do you hear the, the key? Lord. That's right. Do you hear the key statement? And Solomon did evil in the sight Do of the Lord. Do you hear the key statement? And went not fully. He went not fully. After the fully. Lord. Fully. 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 That's it. That's it. Well, hallelujah. Well, we thank God That's if right. you want God to be with you. Hallelujah. You got to fully pursue him. That's right. Hallelujah. And don't misunderstand me. In the midst of your pursuit, mm -hmm. there's going to be a whole lot of things and items. Oh, yes. Lined up. Don't declare yourself to be over something and you know you're still struggling with it. That's right. Don't declare that God delivered you from something and you're still fighting with it. That's right. All right, read fast. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord and went not fully after the Lord. Then what? As did David his father. He didn't do it the way his father did it. Then did Solomon build a high place for Chemosh. Do you hear this? Now, when Solomon earlier, before these women turned his heart, he had a proclamation sent out throughout the kingdom that tied down Amen. all the idols everywhere. That's right. Solomon was known for tearing down every idol under the sun. That's right. But here he got a hand of a bunch of women. Amen. Amen. And they turned his heart so bad, they had him building up the idols. Then did Solomon. And the New Testament said, if you build up again the things you destroy, you make yourself a transgressor. transgressor. It's like there are some preachers who had a very good wife. And the preachers were strong, mm -hmm. sound, firm, held the standard. And then the wife passed away. Yeah. All right. Then the preacher married again, which mm -hmm. is his biblical right. Yeah. If the preacher first wife died and he married again, fine. Mm -hmm. And man, there are some people who left churches because the preacher married again when his first wife died. That's not a reason to leave the church. No. Now, if his wife tried to take over the church, then I understand. If all of a sudden he become a henpeck for the wife, then I understand. And if the wife's going to try to influence the preacher and now dictate the church, I understand. But because the preacher's first wife died and he married again, there ain't no reason to leave the church. And that woman is holy and sanctified. Well, I don't like the way she looked. He didn't marry you. You ain't got the right the way. You ain't got to like the way she looked. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. Then did Solomon build a high place for Chemosh. Then what? The abomination of Moab. Look at the abomination he starts to build. In the hill that is set before Jerusalem. Then what? And for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. Yes. And likewise did he for all his strange wives. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What did he do? And likewise did he for all his strange wives. He did this for all his strange wives. Which burnt incense and sacrificed Can unto you their gods. Now let's, this is the man that God appeared to. Appeared and to. this is the man that God appointed to build him a house. That's right. But this man went on a strange God building spree for who? And likewise did he for all his strange wives. All his strange wives. Which burnt incense and sacrificed unto their gods. Yeah. And the Lord was angry with Solomon. What? And the Lord was angry with Solomon. Never mind the people being angry. God, when God is angry, God that's what matters. That's right. That's what matters, brother. Amen. There's been many preachers who wife died. And the second wife, uh, the second go-round of marriage, amen, they regret it. Yeah. They regret it. There are some preachers that have talked to me face to face. Yeah. Their first wife died, and what they would, what I find is interesting, what they would not tolerate from their first wife, but yet they are tolerate from the second wife. Lord. The first wife couldn't boss them. The first wife couldn't rule him. The first wife couldn't run the church. Yeah. He wasn't a pen, a hen peck yeah. with the first wife. Amen. Wife died, all of a sudden get married the second time. Now he's a hen peck. <laughs> now she's the boss. That's right. Now he, he wear the dress and she wear the pants. 
Now she tells the church what to do. That's right. He become her flunky. It is better to dwell in the corner of the house. Do you hear the Bible talking? In the book of Proverbs chapter 21. I know 21. many of you watch them. This fits your pastor. Mm -hmm. This fits your daddy. Amen. This fits your brother. Anytime you get married and your first wife died, and yet the second wife don't want to be holy, why would you even think about marrying her? That's right. Why would you think about marrying her? Amen. Now, if you're going to leave the church because you don't like the fact that the preacher got married and the woman is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, living holy and sanctified, and you leave the church because you feel as though the preacher shouldn't got married, obviously you must want it to preach it. That's right. And the preacher wouldn't marry you. Amen. Otherwise, in that, the church should not be that involved in the preacher's personal life. That's true. Because by biblical law, if a preacher's wife die, he got the right to marry again. Amen. If the preacher himself die, the wife got the right to marry again. That's, That's right. the right that God gave him. That's right. What it look like I die, and all of a sudden my wife get married again, and some brothers get upset and leave. <laughs> Amen. Because Sister Jenna is married again? My Lord. Well, you must have won her. That's right. Eh? That's right. Because God gave her the right. And Pastor Jenna is the apostle of the truth. God killed me. I died. Yeah. If my wife want to marry again, what can I say? What can you say? I can't say nothing. I remember, amen, when she and I, we would talk, amen, and I would tell her, if I die, you better never marry again. I told her, I said, I mean it. Uh, <laughs> I mean it. She said, oh, no, eh? and you know what? I remember she and I would say that over and over for years. I'd never forget. Amen. One day I said that to her, and the Lord brought scripture to me and rebuked me right on the spot. Because what I was saying to her actually transgressed the scriptures, scriptures. and I didn't know it. Wow. I wasn't thinking of it. Mm. Someone said, well, I wasn't thinking. I was telling her, if I die, you better not marry again. Yeah. Well, that statement challenged heaven's law. In Romans chapter 7 and verse 3. Because God said. In Romans chapter 7, we'll start at verse 2. That what? For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband. Yes. So long as he liveth. Yes. But if the husband be dead. If the, this is God's law. If, if the husband dies. She is loose. She's free. From the law of her husband. From what I said. That's right. So then if. While her husband liveth, she be married to another man. She shall be called an adulteress. Long as she don't get into one while we still hitched. But if her husband be dead. But uh, if I kick the bucket. She is if free. If I die. That's right. Then she is free. From that law. Who freed her? God did. Amen. Amen. And Amen. there's a lot of churches that split because the preacher got married. The first wife died. Some of the women got married with the preacher. And uh, because they didn't like the woman. Uh, because the preacher wouldn't pick them as if this is a romper room or something. I mean, how wicked, how hell bound. You shouldn't even been there to begin with with that type of fool mind. That's right. And then you got those that are so wicked who sit and wait for the preacher to die and wait for the wife to die as if the preacher going to want you or as if the preacher or the wife going to want you. You got to be a heathen <laughs> God knows. I mean that deep rooted <laughs> you just right. have to be. Have to be. Who in the world sit around wait for somebody to die but a child of hell, Amen. a product of Satan? Yeah. Eh? yeah. All right, go back to Thessalonians, son, because I have to get much as I can, but my time is gone. Back in Second Thessalonians, chapter two, now. In all right. 10. And with all the deceivableness of unrighteousness what is it? in them that perish. In them that perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth. Well, we showed you already what's noted in the scriptures of truth right. in reference to death of a husband and death of a wife and things of that nature. Amen. Amen. If you don't receive the love of the truth, because they receive not because the love they of the truth, of the truth, that they might be saved. So the, the purpose of loving the truth is a savior. Amen. Uh -huh. And for this cause, God shall send them strong For this reason, because losers. you don't love the truth and because you reject the truth, God will send them strong give you delusion. a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. God will give you a strong delusion so you can believe something wrong. That they all might be dead. You're, in other words, you already got a wrong belief. Mm -hmm. And God will give you a strong delusion because you won't hear him through the word. So God will give you up to your delusion and let you take your old foolish, fictitious, ungodly belief and stick to that. Mm -hmm. And the reason why he'll let you do that is what? That, that they should believe a lie. So that you they can believe all, a lie. That they all might be dead. So you all can go to hell. Who believe not 
the truth. We don't believe what God said. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. Now, you better give me uh, 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. I believe chapter 15 and verse 50. Amen. Let's see what the word of God says about flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Yes. Amen. I want to see, do you believe this view? Do you believe this Catholics? Mm -hmm. Or your Pope been telling you for years that flesh and blood is in heaven? Yes. That Jesus is up there with the human, natural flesh and blood body just like his? Right. I want to see, do you believe this scripture? First I want to see, is this scripture true in your eyes? Be right. fast. First Corinthians 15 and verse 50. That's what? Now this I say, brother. This I say, brother. That flesh and blood. That flesh and blood. Cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Cannot inherit God's kingdom. Does you believe that? Mm -hmm. Do you believe you that? Believe it. Now anybody come along after that and say, well, flesh and blood is in heaven one time. The Bible says. And now this the I say. The Bible says. Now this I say, brother. This I say, brother. That flesh and blood cannot. Cannot. Inherit the kingdom of that, God. That rule out any time. That's right, right then, that rule out any time. That's right. Because the Apostle Paul didn't say that. No. God said it through the Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. For the word of God said all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. And God moved on Paul to talk because God knew that a flesh and blood body of the human race will be corruptible. That's and God did not want that into the kingdom of God. Right. So not only the old, not even the body that he took on himself, he wouldn't take the natural life of that body, the blood and flesh flesh so he glorified it move out the natural life and move them the spiritual life so the body can live by the power of God and no longer by the natural now this I say brethren do you believe this viewers mm -hmm. do you believe this viewers amen this I say brethren and this I say brethren that, that what flesh and blood cannot flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God if you don't believe that Amen. If you don't believe that, and for this cause, for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. You can preach, fall out, vomit, get in some spirit, but if you don't believe that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, and you tell people otherwise, you're preaching in a delusional state. Hemme, 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 viewers. Any preacher, I don't care what religious denomination he is, after God spoke. This scripture here, mm -hmm. that flesh and blood cannot mm -hmm. inherit the kingdom of God. Any preacher, it doesn't matter what title he has, apostle, bishop, elder, evangelist, pastor, devil, demon, or just straight up dog. <laughs> if any preacher, I don't care what he call himself, tell you yes. flesh and blood is in heaven, in heaven. at any time, mm -hmm. ignore what religion he profess, mm -hmm. right then you are listening to a man who's under a delusion. And for this because cause, the Bible already said, flesh and blood flesh cannot, flesh and blood cannot, inherit the kingdom of God. And if you don't believe that, what happened to you? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. God will do it. God. No one said, well, that's what you say, Pastor Jennings. Who said it? God shall send them strong delusion. Never mind, Pastor Jennings. You would love to bring me in it. Yeah. So you, to justify your disbelief, you would love to bring me in it, but uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. Oh, no, brother. I didn't write this. And for this cause. I didn't write this. That's right. Amen. I did not write this. For mm -hmm. this cause. God shall send them God strong shall give delusion. Them. Every man that says flesh and blood is in heaven, what kind of spell they under? Strong delusion. What kind? Strong delusion. Why? That they should believe a lie. Listen, after they see it's written in there, yeah. but they want to keep saying flesh and blood is in heaven, God say, all right, I'm going to let you believe your lying self. That's right. I'm going to let you believe the lie you're telling. Right. I'm, I'm going to let you go to scriptures that you don't even understand. Mm -hmm. And within those scriptures, you're going to be under a delusion. delusion. That's right. Uh -huh. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. That what? That they should believe a lie. They believe a lie. That they all might be damned. That they believe a lie. That they all might that be they damned. That they all might be damned. Who believe not the truth. Who don't believe the truth. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. They have pleasure and what's not right. Not right. They have pleasure and what's not right. So viewers, amen, my time is gone. I wish I had more time to enlarge on this but uh, blessed be the name of God. Amen. Anything the word of God says, and these men come along and try to paint a picture, oh no, God don't say that. Don't pay them no mind. Mm -hmm. Don't pay them no mind. That's right. Don't pay them no mind. Yeah. 
When they tell you two is in heaven, three is in heaven, God is white, God is black, God only came for black people, you better give me St. John 3, 16, St. quick John now. 3, 16. The Bible said God so, so loved, loved the world. No, God just so loved the Jews. For God so loved the world. No, God just so loved black folk. For God so loved the world. When you get these sick, bigot, weak, hell-deserving white preachers, who stand there preaching to their white, weak congregation, yeah. making them believe that the only ones going to be in heaven is us white folk, and we're going to be waited on by black angels. <laughs> My Lord. Yeah. My Lord. Black angels. My Lord. Amen. Black angels selling watermelons in the kingdom. <laughs> That's right. That's the devil out of hell. That's the devil. And at the same time, these dumb, ignorant, hell-bound black folk Amen. that think it's going to be a uh, black power mm -hmm. in heaven we will have all and all them. the angels when yes. you be caught up all the angels going to greet you with a fist <laughs> that's right black power you made it that, my Lord. black power you made it Amen. that's the devil out of hell i slap and smack every black and white devil back in the hell with bible who will have i said all? i do it with bible Go ahead. i do it with Bible God knows and I do a good God giving job. Right. But the Bible says God so loved what? God so loved the world. No, just black folk. For God so loved the world. Just black folk. God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. It ain't son. just black folk in the world. No. It anyway. ain't just white folk in the world. Amen. I want to say to you white viewers that are follow a preacher because he's white, mm -hmm. you going to hell. That's right. I want to say you black folk that are follow a preacher and your only reason is he's black, you're going to hell. That's right. Amen. For the kingdom of God is not wrapped around color. The kingdom of God stands on God's word. Amen. Amen. You better have the mind now. Give me Acts 2 38. Let's close out. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. What? Then Peter said unto them, to them repent you don't believe that amen you don't believe it you don't believe that don't believe is that it. static coming across the uh the message on youtube if it is you better turn that speaker off i don't want to do interference now amen, amen. it's the speaker right in front of me get rid of it yeah. get rid of it make it quick because i don't want it to interfere amen. with what i'm preaching and I, I, I don't care if you got to pull the plug do something <laughs> amen that's right it's a SOS here. Run, son, run. <laughs> Lord, take God, turn it all the way off. Amen. I want people to get what I'm telling them. Yeah. Amen. The devil is a lie. Glory <laughs> take God. All right, what he is that? Peter said unto them, repent. <laughs> repent. And be baptized. I love this thing. And be baptized. Every one of you. All right, you heathens, you got this to do. All you heathens, you got this to do. Amen. Heathens, I said, you got this to do. Then Peter said unto them. And be baptized and get rid of that old baptism that Williams had. You got to get rid of all them gods that Williams had. You got to get rid of those other two gods that Williams had. You got to get rid of that belief in women preachers that Williams had. My Lord. Isn't that wonderful? He's a free man now. A, the Bible says, he who the son have set free is free indeed. Free indeed. <laughs> Amen. Amen. There's many people coming and say, Pastor Jenny, why you always bother Williams? That's my brother. I love my brother. We can have a good time like that. That's Amen. right. That's right. We're going to have a good time like that. Like I told the viewers before, they don't see what he be taking me through <laughs> off screen, you know. <laughs> off screen, you know, he'd jump on me like bees on a hornet's nest. That's right. Always parachuting down somewhere <laughs> with some type of scripture. He come down pointing. <laughs> come down pointing. But my God, I be having a Bible laid up for him when he lands. <laughs> Glory to God. All right, Phil, you better repent of your <laughs> sins now and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And before I go off the air, let me forget to tell you, leave your church. Amen. Leave your church. Don't go to your church. I don't care if your father's a pastor. It doesn't matter if your father's a pastor. It really don't matter. Amen. If your mother's a pastor, you know you better get out of there like now. <laughs> That's right. Right now. That's right. And man, you little weak preachers there, your wife is your assistant pastor, you know you're sent by the devil out of hell. Amen. God ain't made you a preacher. You might as well pack your things up, get out the pulpit. Everybody got to come follow the way of holiness. Everybody. Everybody. I didn't say you got to follow Pastor Jennings' way. I don't have no way. No. Amen. The Bible said the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Everybody, Everybody. everywhere That's right. must follow the way of holiness. The way of holiness is the way of God. The Bible said according to as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy. Amen. God said be ye holy for I, the Lord your God, Amen. am 
holy. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else that God put in the Bible. Everybody may as well drop your religion, drop your belief, come back to what the word of God said. So when the Lord comes, you'll be kind of worthy to go back with them. Repent of your sins and be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, tarry or wait for the Lord. Fill your wicked, ungodly soul with the Holy Ghost. And mm -hmm. they begin to continue to walk in the doctrine of the apostles. And this is that. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Tune in again next week. Amen. To we thunder after you again with the way of holiness. May God bless you. Let us all stand. Under him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen. amen.